guys and welcome back for another video. Today I want to do a little haul video for you guys. We just got back from our vacation yesterday. We went to Florida and it was a 19 hour drive. We did it over two days. So of course 19 hours there and then 19 hours home which was a little exhausting. So instead of doing a tutorial today I thought I would just do a quick little haul and show you guys what I purchased. We went to Hobby Lobby in Joann's because I can't not go to those stores when I'm in the US and then I bought a few things at the Disney store because why not? <laughs> okay so I'll show you what I got at Hobby Lobby and I wasn't even going to get fabric I was just going there for Cricut stuff which I'm not going to show you the Cricut stuff because I just bought mats and um, they were on sale for 40% off so I got the 12 by 24s and the 12 by 12s and so they're just regular mats but I went into the fleece aisle and I was this was not even on the, the plans but I saw this <gasps> uh, my son is a Mario freak so of course I'm just going to make him one of those blankets that um, you know the ones that you put to two fleece together and then you cut strips and then you just tie it in a knot and I've made one before and they hold up really well actually so if you guys would like a tutorial it's fairly easy but if you would then you know comment down below but if not I'm just gonna make it so how adorable is he is he upside down he's upside down for me yeah how about this there we go so cute. And then on the back of this, I'm going to be doing a nice bright green fleece. So soft. So I got those two things. And that is Hobby Lobby. And then my daughter saw this, which is, um, I think it's like a chenille type fabric. I'm not exactly sure. But it's not a, it's not a fleece. It's like the furry baby blanket stuff. But um, I, I only got one yard of this because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And she wants a blanket, but I mean, obviously, I didn't buy enough for a blanket. But I don't even know. Like, it's when you cut it, it's very, it, it, you know, it, it flakes. So if you have any tutorials on what I can make for my little girl out of this, um, definitely leave your suggestions down below because I don't even know. But it's so comfy. And then, so that was it from Hobby Lobby, and then the Cricut mats. So I went to Joann's because I needed another Cricut mat, and then they didn't have it at Hobby Lobby. And I saw, oh man, I saw this, and it's more Mario. Oh, I don't think we can get enough. How cute. This is flannel, so I thought, you know, I could maybe make him little pajama pants or something, or, you know, a pillowcase because he loves you know Mario pillowcases and stuff so um, I thought those were really cute so I had to grab it of course I got a yard and a half of that so that's it for fabric which I wasn't even planning on getting fabric but this this is what happens when you come across Mario stuff because I'm not gonna find Mario in Canada unless I look online and then it's gonna be super expensive so I'm just going to show you quick what I got at the Disney store because I saw it and I wanted it. And if you're not already following me on my social media, you know, my Facebook or my Instagram, then you don't already know. But maybe you can guess why I got it. But it was a, it's a bag. So here it is. And it says Mode. And if you don't already know who Edna Mode is... She is from The Incredibles, and she is the seamstress, and that's why I love her, because she is a sewer, and she's just adorable anyways. So, you know, it's just, it's just black on the inside, it has a zipper pouch, and then a slip pocket, so it's just, you know, a nice tote. And the good thing about it is it doesn't scream Disney, like, if you don't know what that is, then... You know, it just it's just a nice tote for carrying stuff in. So I really love it and it kind of has a special place in my heart because she is a seamstress and she makes the super suits. 
me and my husband saw The Incredibles a long time ago. I think this was in the beginning of our relationship. So The Incredibles kind of holds a special place in my heart out of all the movies. And then when they came out with a number two, you know, it was just, just too perfect. Okay, so the last thing I bought, I actually bought the Lego store. So here it is. I had to get it. This is a Brick Heads Mini Mouse. Come on. Focus on Mini. Okay. Anyways, so this is Mickey Mini Mouse. She's got a little polka dots dress on. Super cute. Um, they didn't have any of the Mickeys, and I was like, no, because I was going to get the set. So the good thing is I got the Mini, and in Canada they had the Mickey, so... I got the Mickey. How cute. So I'm just going to make them and then I'm just going to put them on the shelf. Because it's adorable. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to be in the loop for all the future sewing and crafting tutorials that are set to come especially during this holiday season i do have some wood projects that i am going to be making as well for some family members so i think i'm going to do videos on those and i will be using my cricut so i got a new cricut explore 2 so that comes you know with all the fancy stuff it's just i am coming from a cricut expression so this is just like this is just high tech <laughs> basically. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.